Well, this is craziness. Freaking raining. And I'm out on a bloody dirt bike. Well, I suppose they say all part of the adventure. We'll have a crack, see if we can get out. It's supposed to be on lockdown, so officially I'm going to meet her job up. Not sure if you're going to be able to see too much with the rain, but <laughs> friggin' madness. That is usually about a foot deep in there, maybe two foot deep, there's a little fishing hole in there. That's a little creek coming in there, wow. That'd be at least eight foot deep at the moment. She's flowing through. So much for my idea of travelling east and getting out of the rain. Seems to be following me. Uh, I don't know what to do now. Whether the rain's just going to hang around and follow me all the way into the hills. Or uh, whether they just turn tail and beeline it for home. It's hard to tell. But uh, yeah, she's still wet and pretty shaggy. Might have a look at the rain radar and sort of make a decision from there. This is why I come this way. Pure and simply this bridge. Oh, lovely to see the sun out. G'day guys, Steve from Dirt Bike ADV here. Um, actually cracked some sunshine, which is good. Um, just left home about an hour and a half, two hours ago, and it was raining and looking miserable, and uh, yeah, thought to, I might even turn around, but um, as I said, all part of the adventure, so I kept going. Today we're out on the 390. Uh, first time I've had it out in about six weeks, unfortunately. Um, been in lockdown and um, did manage to get away on the 690 for a little quick three-day trip. And um, yeah, but other than that, we've been in lockdown. We just managed to get that trip in between two different rounds of lockdown here in uh, in Victoria. Um, 
So I just decided to get the 390 out today. It's been raining. We've had about uh, two inches of rain in the last 36 hours. So I didn't really want to go riding single trail, but it's I'm doing today what I've wanted to do for a long time. And that's basically ride the 390, do a loop, um, not only to test the fuel range, but just to sort of test it out as a, an ADV bike, as an ultralight ADV bike. Um, uh, as you know, I had the 480, and I, that was an older style uh, motorbike, and it was still a little bit too top heavy for anything but uh, ADV work, and it wasn't quite uh, wasn't quite the bike that you could ride in a state. So I've since bought the 390 here and the, and the 690. So that's my two bike combination. I just want to sort of sort out today. Am I happy to use this bike as an ultra right ADV bike? Um, obviously I've got the 690, um, that's going to do um, most of the ADV work, uh, interstate work, um, local work and uh, you know it's going to do uh, the vast majority of what I want to do. But where I live here there's a lot of good riding, um, so whether it's riding in the hills here where we are today or, um, or chucking the bike on the back of the car and riding up to, the, um, uh, up to Birdsville and crossing the Simpson on the bike or, or whether it's going over to Western Victoria and doing a loop around Lake Albuquerque or something like that. Um, this, this bike I ho I'm hoping will, will do the job and, and be a lot more fun than, uh, than the 690 when you're not doing the big Ks. So today's about just sort of doing a loop, testing mileage, testing comfort, testing, testing road manners um, and just giving it a bit of a try out to see how, what I think. Um, I'm pretty convinced that it'll be okay but one of the things I'll do uh, if I do want to use it as an ADV bike is to uh, obviously a bigger tank, more comfy seat and I'll debate over either a rackless system or a... Um, uh, uh, buying a little nomadic um, cycles rack for it uh, they make quite a nice little rack on it um, and possibly a screen on the um, on the headlight shroud certainly not going to put a tower on it that would then wouldn't be suitable for um, um, for the uh, single trail and the, the enduro riding that, that I like to do on it as well so the screen's probably the only debatable one and, and whether I go a full rackless system or whether I go a, um, a little nomadic rack as I say um, the beaters actually have a lot of the exhaust exposed, so um, it's, I, I, my Endura stand panniers probably wouldn't cut it, I don't think. I think I need to have a, a more of a stable system like a rack or a, or, a, or a Moscow Moto or a Wolfman style, even Krieger do it. Today I've just got the, um, the Krieger here. I've just lashed that around the, um, uh, the mudguard. That's got three litres of juice in it and uh, a tyre change kit in it. So um, that's just sort of um, a bit of an experiment, I guess, too, to see if it's going to stay there and whether it annoys me. So far, so good. And I've got to say, right across the board, so far, so good. The bike's geared quite low and the seats fight quite hard, but I knew that before I left, so I'm not, uh, I'm not worried about those items. It's just a case of um, the overall bike, the manners and, and the handling and all that sort of stuff and whether, whether I can see it being an ultralight bike. And so far, so good. I'm really wrapped to get out. Um, it's been not ideal with the lockdowns. Um, being an outdoors type person, um, the thought of being locked in my home is uh, not ideal at all. So I've um, been doing a bit of bike maintenance and uh, whatnot. And obviously I've been working a lot anyway. So uh, so yeah, that's, that's sort of, uh, I wouldn't say it's helped, but um, it's been some justification. But anyway, guys, we're out here today. I'm in the sunshine, I'm out on my dirt bike. So the university's, uh, the university is looking after me, not the university, um, and uh, so yeah, really happy to be out. Um, we had a warm start to the spring, but it's gone a bit pear-shaped over the last couple of days. But anyway, I'm going to continue on. As you can see, everything's flooded here, so I'm having to pick my route uh, and go where bridges are. Not uh, No river crossings today, everything's very, very flooded. It, uh, it's uh, really uh, amazing how much rain we've had over the last sort of 36 hours. I think about 50 mil in the last 36 hours. So. Yeah, I'm just picking my way through spots where I can cross rivers on bridges. So yeah, we'll continue on and uh, see how we go. This mirror is a total fail. <laughs> Never mind, onwards and upwards. So yeah, we're just trying to loop where we can... Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> just trying to loop where we can get over the rivers. I don't think we need to... 
<laughs> worry about the river. Now, if I was on the X trainer, I reckon I'd double blip that one. Right there. It'd be a jap zap actually, I think. Who's up for that? <laughs> That's hilarious. That is dead set hilarious. That's uh, game over, I think, folks. I'll cut up the back there. We'll have a look at the maps and see 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 if we can divert round the back. But I'll sort of head in that way and cutting back towards Willow Grove. But yeah, there you go. I don't think I can get my bike anywhere around that. It'd make good footage, wouldn't it, if I tried to double blip that sucker? There you go. All right, let's see if we can divert round it. I wonder could I just pivot turn over that? What do you reckon? Have a crack at pivot turning over it? I reckon we could. <laughs> That's hilarious. Bloody hell. Glad I've got a new tyre on. Look at that water going through there. But yeah, you can see the debris up against the armor guard rail here. Oh, there you go. That's right. The bridge has actually been undermined. Okay, there you go. I don't think that motor box going across is going to be an issue, so we'll toodle across.
anyway, I think we're just about uh, pretty lining it from home now, I think. It's all gravel and a bit of tar from here. So yeah. Well, there you go. That was my first, uh, I guess what you call the first ADV ride on the 390. And uh, pretty happy. Seat was hard, knew that. Uh, um, and um, but the fuel range seems to be okay. Fuel lights on, but I've done probably a good 120k. So I'm going to let it hit reserve and then uh, see how I go. But I am trying to make it back to town and fill up. So we'll see how we go. Still looking for that extra gear. <laughs> but yeah, if you um, put a 15 on the front, um, she'd uh, she'd scoot along a little bit better on the open stuff. Uh, going on my mileage so far, not too concerned about the mileage. So. Um, I think these are about a 10 litre tank. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> that mirrors a right off. Uh, yeah, so depending on what you're doing, it's um, the mileage ain't too bad to be honest. Uh, as I say, if you can get 300 k's out of an adventure bike, you're going pretty well. I reckon that's enough, you know. And uh, obviously there's certain times where you need a bit more, but I think for a lightweight adventure bike, if you can get, you know, up around 150 k's out of a tank, carry a 5 litre bladder and you all of a sudden you're getting 200 k's, probably not too bad. But, uh, yeah. Overall, the manners and the handling and everything are good as gold. If I had to put a, um, a more comfy seat on this, I would have probably had a, um, a, 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 a really good day. I have got a bit of a sore bottom, but uh, nah, listen, it's not, not a big deal. Um, I really can't complain at all. So yeah, the, uh, the 390 gets the ticket of approval. It's a, an ultralight ADV. It's just a case of... Uh, what uh, accessories you uh, put on it so you don't hinder it as an enduro bike but um, yeah you uh, you just make it a little bit more ADV ready so to speak yeah but no nah, engine manners road manners everything else yeah you could do a lot of K's on this bike quite comfortably as I've discussed before obviously the wind's hitting you but um, you know, for local ADV work, that's not a such a such an idea, uh, such a big deal. Uh, when you get out on the highways and you're doing uh, interstate work, that's where you really got to be out of the wind. I don't know how the blokes do it, to be honest. All this, of course, is my opinion, but but yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, certainly, the engine powers enough, and it's certainly a lovely agile bike. Yeah, pretty pleased. Anyway, guys, I'll make a beeline from here, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.